When the Australian Defence Force and the Australian Army thinks about our advantages that we may have over adversaries in conflict, we often think about asymmetry in physical terms or tactical terms. How can I do something that puts my strength against an adversary's weakness? One of the areas that we know is an area of asymmetry is in our values. Our values, who we are as a nation, who we are as a society, and who we are as soldiers in the army is an asymmetric advantage. And you look at what we do in the community and you look at what we do when we deploy overseas. We are a force for good. And that's really, really important because that gives us an advantage uh, over our adversaries who might not be a force for good. When we think about how we maintain that advantage, we think about that by making good ethical decisions for the right reasons. Those decisions could be in a whole range of, of different areas. They could be about the use of force. They could be about your relationships with the local population. And it's really important that we do it, not for some you know, following the rules thing, but because that preserves one of our key advantages as a nation and as a fighting force. And there's an extraordinary and important difference between a warrior <laughs> and a soldier. Okay, as a soldier, you are a representative of your country. Okay, you are there as an expression of your nation's combat power. Okay, and with that comes extraordinary responsibilities. You need a moral compass, and I use the word moral, because, and you need to have yourself mentally prepared as well as physically for those decisions that come quickly that are difficult to make, where there's choices, where all the choices are bad. And I like the term moral compass so that you're able to keep yourself true to yourself and your thoughts, and that should be aligned. It will be aligned with your responsibilities as an Australian soldier. Uh, a profession is marked by people who take time to study deeply the problems of, of the day. Uh, we don't have that because the work of the day always comes, on, comes in front of the problems of the day that we've got to solve. And one of the things that we've got to start doing in our profession is studying and asking ourselves questions and testing our assumptions. And if there's a hypothesis out there about how we think we might act in, in competition or crisis or conflict, then we ought to take the time to say, you know what, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna think about this for a little bit to see if this is really true and test that thing. And, and we also have to challenge our assumptions on everything from access basing and overflight to what is our posture gonna be in the event of a crisis? Um, to how are we going to act in conflict? How do we get there? We're not asking you to be nice. <laughs> We're not asking you to be soft. Which is good. We're not asking you to be cuddly, mm. okay? We're asking you to be a soldier, okay? And soldiers are a representative of that country. And if you don't get it right, the first person you are gonna fundamentally affect for the rest of your life is you. Mm.